Hey, your car guy, Bill DeBoer over here at DeBoer's Auto. I just wanted to make a quick video and talk to everybody today about catalytic converters. Uh, so when we get into catalytic converters, there's a number of things that we talk about when uh, you get that dreaded P0420 code, uh, means that the catalytic converter is below a certain threshold that can't uh, produce emissions properly going out the tailpipe. So it sets that check engine light and then you won't pass inspection. So there's a couple options when it comes to replacing that catalytic converter and getting it up to snuff so you can get it through inspection. And I wanna to talk to you about those today. Uh, the first way you can go is with the original equipment manufactured catalytic converter. So that would be uh, whoever the make of the vehicle is, ordering it directly from the manufacturer that made it originally and reinstalling that on the, the vehicle. The other option is to go aftermarket. And when you go aftermarket, there's a number of different ways or brands out there that you can buy and put on the vehicle. But typically in New Jersey, you can buy these from all manufacturers, but certain states right now are restricting the sale of certain aftermarket manufacturers. And New Jersey probably will go that way sometime in the future. They're very conscious about the emissions and catalytic converters and making sure that they're up to snuff. So New York and California are the two big ones. You'll see like when you go on and look at aftermarket catalytic converters, they are not allowed to be sold in those states because they don't meet the requirements for the materials inside the catalytic converter. So with that being said, there's a big price difference, right? So OEM, the original manufacturer catalytic converter is gonna be a lot more money than the aftermarket. And there's a reason for that. The original equipment manufacturer, that catalytic converter is meant to last the lifetime of the vehicle. Now, sometimes they wear out prematurely. Obviously you're replacing it for a reason. A lot of times when catalytic converters fail and you get codes, it's due to lack of maintenance on the vehicle. People not changing out the spark plugs when they should, uh, not doing good fuel injection treatments to keep the, everything nice and clean in the combustion chamber. And these things lead to a degraded catalytic converter, which can fail prematurely, putting you in this spot. So the other option is the aftermarket. And what they do is they have cheaper catalytic converter options, but the reason they're cheaper is they cut back on the amount of precious metals that they put in the catalytic converters. And that's why some of these states will restrict the sale of these catalytic converters from being put on the vehicles because they don't do the best job at cleaning up the emissions coming out the tailpipe. So at DeBoer's Auto, we always wanna make sure that when we do a repair that we're in there, uh, we do the fix once and we're done. That's our motto. Uh, it's the cheapest way to fix the car is to fix it right the first time. And that's why we typically always go with an original equipment manufactured catalytic converter because it will last the rest of the life of that vehicle. Aftermarket catalytic converters, you might throw a new one on and within a year or two, it'll fail because the materials aren't up to snuff and you'll be back there doing the whole thing all over again. So when it comes to this, that's why we recommend it. And for this and some more information, you can head on over to www.deboersauto.com to learn more there.